neither, sorry. <laughs> but uh, we're 29 feet right here, so it's not really that deep. On average, it's only 8 to 12 feet. And do you guys think this is a man-made lake or a natural lake? Yeah, it's man-made. Yeah, man -made. So if you were here back in the early 1900s, this was all farmland. There was houses, livestock, a blacksmith shop. It was a little community called the Butterfly Community. And in 1907, the city of Kingsport was looking to buy some land to build a reservoir to serve them their water supply. So they looked around and they found this property. And if you notice, we have ridges that go all the way around us so from a bowl or a basin shape. They knew that would be a perfect spot. They could build the dam, get the runoff off the ridges, and their lake would be made for them. So that's what they did. It took them seven years to buy the property, but by 1914 they had it bought. They started the construction that year, finished it two years later, and from 1916 until 1944, this is where Kingsport got their water supply. In 1944, we just simply outgrew it. They have estimated this lake holds about 100 million gallons of water, and I don't know what they used in 1944, but if you live in Kingsport today, we use between 15 to 20 million gallons of water daily. This lake would be gone in less than a week if we were still using it. They use the South Fork of the Holston River now. So from 1944 to the late 60s, the lake just sat here. They didn't do a whole lot with it. Then the park idea came about, and Bates Mountain officially opened May of 1971. The lake itself covers 44 surface acres, so it starts behind you. goes up here in the middle. There are eight spring-fed streams that come into this lake, so this is basically all rainwater. When it doesn't rain, the water level just kind of goes down. When it rains a lot, it fills up. It goes over that spillway, and that's what you hear at the moment. And you probably saw it as you were driving up the mountain today. We had a lot of rain here recently, so. <laughs> but that's why the lake is up here. Do you have any questions about it, or just anything you want to know about? It's got the original dam. It is, yeah. So now when it goes over the spillway. Yes, ma'am. Where's uh, it going? It empties down. It, there's a little um, culvert that goes under the road. It empties down Dolan Branch and to Horse Creek. So it just kind of oh. keeps going down the, the oh, ridge okay. there. Keep rolling down. Yeah. Fish. Um, if you guys are um, local enough that you'd want to come here and fish, you're more than welcome to. If you're under 16 or over 55, you can fish here. Um, anybody in between, I'm sorry, you can't fish. But uh, you can fish off the dam over there uh, Monday through Saturday from 8.30 until noon. And everything in here is native to Tennessee. So largemouth bass, bluegill, warmouth, red-eared sunfish, a few channel catfish. And that's pretty much all we have, so we don't have a wide variety. But everything is native to the area. Alright, well guys, I'm going to move us because we're fixing to get too close to the bank back there.